Theresa May will be looking for a positive response to her request to progress towards a trade agreement. However, reaching an agreement is going to be a very long way away. Andrew Kenningham, Capital Economics. The United Kingdom held a Supreme Court ruling on Article 50, stating the government cannot trigger Article 50 without an Act of Parliament. How will this impact Theresa May's plan for a hard Brexit? Well, it won't prevent uh, Brexit from happening because there's a very clear majority in Parliament to uh, support the, the Act, but it does mean she'll have to put legislation through both the House of Commons and the Lords, which will take some time, and there may be attempts to attach amendments and conditions to the Act which could also slow things down somewhat. Um, you know, whatever happens is a long way to go before any negotiations are completed and plenty, um, plenty of opportunity for things to go wrong in the meantime. It's Donald Trump's first week in office and he has faced plenty of backlash from the public due to his bold changes he has already made. But how has his economic plan taken shape? Well, his economic plans are still exceptionally vague for somebody who's now been uh, in office for some time and has you know, had several months to prepare his team. We know the general direction, which is a lot more protectionism uh, and a fiscal stimulus some deregulation, uh, but we don't know any of the details. In particular, the protectionist measures could be uh, fairly, uh, fairly modest, so there could be changes to the NAFTA agreement, which are quite technical, or they could be quite, uh, you know, extreme and result in a potential trade war. That's uh, something we'll hopefully we'll find out in the next few weeks. Um, and the size of the fiscal uh, stimulus is also unclear, as well as the timing um, and its composition. Theresa May is arriving in Washington to meet Donald Trump after the Mexican president cancels a visit to the White House. What will be discussed and how can May negotiate a trade deal with the US? Well, the discussions will be fairly wide-ranging. Um, there'll be a lot of politics involved and they'll want to have some positive news reports uh, for both countries from the, from the meeting. Um, there'll be substantive talks about um, foreign policy issues, including intelligence sharing, Syria, Russia, China, NATO, and so on. Um, in terms of economics, the key thing which uh, Theresa May will be looking for is some positive response to her request for progress towards a trade agreement. Um, and I'm sure that the, 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 the sort of sound bites will be very positive on that front. However, reaching an agreement is going to be a very, very long way away. It's not really possible to get into the substance until after the UK has left the European Union and has um, clarity on what its future trading arrangements will be with the EU. And then the negotiations with the US are likely to take um, many, many months. So I think we're probably years away from any substantive deal. Thank you for your time today, Andrew. And thank you at home for watching. Be sure to join us next week for the latest business news. Goodbye for now.